I mean, this palette is literally like grungy, multi-chrome, shimmer goodness. Ashley, welcome on back to my channel. So, oh, I'm so excited to be here today because I am doing three looks, one palette with the Adept Cosmetics Codeine Palette. I mean, like, honestly, it's, it's so freaking pretty. But before I get started, let me go ahead and introduce myself. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're oldie but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup and eyeshadow is my jam, but please just call me Ash or Ashley. So like I mentioned before, today I am doing three looks, one palette with this beautiful palette by Adept Cosmetics. It is their most recent palette to their collection and this is the code Dane palette. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. You get two matte shades. You get two duochromes. You get, uh, no, I'm sorry. You get two multi-chromes. You get one duochrome and five intense shimmers. Now with this palette, she was offering, you can kind of change up the matte shades if you weren't really feeling it, or you could change, I think one, maybe one or the two shimmer shades. So I opted to buy the palette as is, and this palette retail for $61. This palette is so gorgeous. Just a few facts about the palette. You can go ahead and remove the uh, shades. Each shade is magnetic and it contains about three grams of product and it's a 27 millimeter pan for a minimum total weight of 36 grams. And she is saying that some of the shades can stain your eyelids, which is pretty much understandable because you know like we got this beautiful hot pink shade and then we do have this grungy teal right here but i did get a tiny bit of staining from the hot pink shade but you do have to be careful about that and whatever your preference is when it comes to shades like that and then also uh, some things to note about the palette uh, the eyeshadows are made and assembled in the united states of america and the outer packaging was made in china and the packaging is a uh, recycled or excuse me it's actually stated to be an upcycle vegan faux leather and when you open the box there might be a small chemical smell and they're saying that's just because of the uv coating on the palette however i did not experience that at all and then there is a mirror protector on the palette right here and this palette unfortunately is limited edition the pre-order is sold out i think she does not realize how popular her brand is and since she started coming out with palettes like everybody's so interested they've always been known for their single shadows they've always been known for their really great magnetic palettes that are super heavy um, i actually have one right here like, this is a Dep cosmetics magnetic pal palette you guys have seen this before if you've seen my videos on glam shop but literally and it folds over and then you open it up like this and then you can open up the other side like this so adept has always been known for great products but i think she's just really selling herself short when it comes to how popular these palettes have been i mean i have always just been saying like since 2021 2021 has just been the year of the shimmer slash dual chrome palettes and just maybe one or two mats and she definitely kicked it off when it came to plain jane so this palette did sell out pretty fast. She thought it wasn't going to sell out so fast because she had more units to uh, send out initially than versus Nen Hydrant. But the pre-order, unfortunately, is sold out. So hopefully she brings it back. I know that pre-order does not ship until pretty late, I want to say, in the fall. So like I said, this palette is limited edition. And I hope she can think about keeping some of these palettes around because they are really, really nice. I've worn this palette once already to work. And... It was great. I mean, I didn't have any trouble with the performance of the shadows. I found them very easy to work with, but I'll talk about that more on the other side of the three looks. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. You already know the drill. The eyebrows are brought to you by Benefit Cosmetics, and this is the Goof Proof Pencil, shade 3.75. Had primed my eyelids already. I'm using the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime in shade number two. And let's just jump in and see what we can create.
All right, guys, I'm back. This is the final, well, these are the first two looks, actually. And, ooh, they're so pretty. They're both different vibes, but I think they're really, really gorgeous. So, so far, the performance of the shadows have just been amazing. But let me tell you about my uh, face details real quick. So, I went in with my Huda Beauty uh, foundation stick in the shade Cinnamon. And this is the shade uh, 440G. And then I just took some regular old beauty supply lashes. And then for my lip, I have this Bite Beauty uh, lip crayon in the shade Glace. And Pat McGrath Cherish. Uh, blush on the cheeks along with the golden nectar highlighter. This is the highlighter and you guys know that this is the blush. I've been wearing these two products non-stop. Well, the blushes non-stop since I've gotten them. But overall, the palette performance, oh my gosh, like it has just been, <laughs> it is so good. And I really like this formula. The multi-chromes are gorgeous everything layers on top of each other the two matte shades are just so fun like this bright pink and then the dingy like grungy what's well, not dingy but the real grungy teal i think it's just gorgeous it just plays in with the palette really well all the shimmers went on well i did not have to use glitter glue it doesn't bother me when i have to use it but it's just kind of just speaks to the formula this formula is a little different than versus and in hydrant I don't have the uh, Plain Jane palette, so I can't compare it to that, but this formula is just, oh, it's so good. It's so creamy. The shifts, the sparkles are just amazing. Everything layers and lays down well, just, just with ease. I didn't have, have a problem. So let's go ahead and get into one last look. And this is the final look and I love it. It is so pretty. It's so grungy and it has that pop and the flip. Uh, and I just wanted to do a look using the shimmers so you could just see how they blend out. And as you see, they blend out very well. You do have to be careful because these uh, dual chromes do have a strong black base. So you can see it just kind of peeking through right there. But it is nice because it gives that depth and dimension. For this look, I opted to use my uh, Camel Glam eyeliner. This is a deep hunter green eyeliner that I had from the Glam Shop. But overall, I'm really, really pleased. So let's just jump into my thoughts of the palette. Of course, I love the packaging. I think it's very sleek and it's just nice and it's compact. It is actually a little bit smaller than the Nin Hydrin palette. Um, the shades in here are wonderful. I just feel like this is just such a unique color story. You don't see things like this all the time. The shade called Dane is just that wonderful pop of lime green. And then my two favorite shades, maybe three, is one, two, and three. This one right here, this particular shade, ACI 27, just reminds me of a very grungy, 
Corruption by Pat McGrath Labs. Um, let's see. So here's uh, the bronze uh, temptation palette and it has corruption in it. This is where corruption originally came from, but you can find corruption in the celestial divinity palette. But I just find like, of course this is corruption right here and it's more burgundy based, but I just really find that it really just reminds me of like a grungy corruption. So this is corruption or it might be the other shade now because I've used the other one first. So that's corruption. And then let's see, let's jump into ACI 32 right here. And I mean, it's just so smooth. Like the one by Pat McGrath is very smooth as well. But this is the ACI 32. So this one is more cranberry. It's a little bit, it's a little bit darker, but so they, it just reminds me of a little bit more grunginess. And then even still this shade, it still reminds me of Corruption because Corruption has that strong green flip. And then we have ACI 27, but this one, it has a strong green flip into the cranberry into, and then it has like a rose gold part to it. Also, do you see that? Like, oh my God, I love this shade so much. Like, come on, that is just so freaking stunning. And this shade all over the lid, and I popped it in with a little bit of this shade right here and went to work. It was gorgeous. Like, after I swatched this palette and got it, I knew it was Pat McGrath week all the week on my channel, but I just had to wear this palette. And I mean, it's just gorgeous it's so freaking pretty and so stunning and it's just a formula that is just just a joy to work with honestly because it's so creamy it's so smooth it's so blendable you don't have to work worry really about using a glitter glue of course it would increase the longevity i would prime your eyes because the shades are very emollient so i would probably use a drier primer in case you have you know uh more oily eyelids. I have dry skin, but my eyelids are oily. So I tend to use like my Urban Decay Primer Potion or either the Juvia's Place I Prep My Prime. This one is pretty good. Um, I do um, find that you need to kind of let it get tacky first so it's not slipping, sliding all around. But the color story, I mean, it's just so gorgeous. It's like kind of like none other, anything I have to be honest. And just like the two mattes, it just brings a whole new pop of, you know, just a new element into the palette. And I think like everything is just really well executed. I know with this palette, you could change out the matte shades. You could change out maybe one or two of the shimmers, but I just thought that the palette was gorgeous as is, and I did not want to do that at all. Plus, of course, like if you're fumbling around on the website, like the palette's going to sell out. Like... Ooh, I mean, it wasn't as hard to get this one as it was for Nin Hydra, but this was still pretty hard to get. So I hope she's able to bring out more units the next time she does a video. I know it can be so frustrating trying to get these particular products. You have to be on the website like before. For the launch you have to keep refreshing and then when it hits like 12 o'clock you know it's still like is it up is it up you keep refreshing and keep refreshing so it is a stressful process but I do know that a lot of times the smaller indie brands they just don't have the capital to put the money up front to get the palette so a lot of times they can only order small quantities so this was you know pretty much she said she had a lot i'm not sure how many she had but this was not a pre-order but there is a pre-order that went on for this palette that will ship later on but overall i feel like it's really really stunning really beautiful i can see myself just getting a lot of use out of this palette especially in the fall it's not like a summer vibe palette but i am happy with it the color story is just fantastic amazing performance is amazing and I have been enjoying this. So with that being said, you already know how I feel about this palette. And this would be my favorite look. And then, oh my gosh, I enjoyed look number one I did so much. And I also enjoyed look number two also. So I can't pick between those two. But this right here is just, it's smooth. It's just decadent. It looks like just butter on my eyelids. It's just melted in like huh like just stunning 
with that pop, that rose gold. She does rose golds really well because I really enjoy that rose gold shade. It's in that hydrant. I mean, these swatches are just, ooh, just, ah. So, with that being said, let me know down below that you get a chance to pick up this palette. Have you even tried Adept Cosmetics? I am very, very pleased. Let me know down in the comments. You know I love to chat it up with you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to be here with you guys. And I love to have you here in my little makeup family. And we're growing and we're almost at 3,000. So please, I really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. I'm really just trying to grow my channel, but still keep it authentic to me. And with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chair dance, chair dance. Hey, 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 chair dance. Ooh, ooh, chair dance. Ooh, ooh, chair dance. Ooh, ooh, chair dance. Ooh, ooh, chair dance. All right, y'all. Bye.